Hey, guess what? It's Monday. Hey, there we are. We're back. Good morning to you, Joe. Good morning to one and all joining us on another Monday installment. I can't get fixed in my chair here. It's Monday installment of seven minutes in the morning. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. We're going to talk a little bit about success and making it simple today. Simple. Not necessarily easy, but simple. Before we get to that, though... If you have not already, uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know that you're here. Or give the video a thumbs up, a like, whatever is appropriate in the venue in which you are watching or listening. Speaking of listening, if you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, uh, or watching on YouTube, listening on SoundCloud, <laughs> head on over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so you can... Uh, join us and doggone it. I forgot again to grab the link here. Give me just a second. Um, I had last, so last week and I, I want you guys to tell me in the comments kind of what you think about this. It's, <clears throat> it's, uh, new. I, I tried it for the first time last week, but I kind of put together a, I call it a listening guide or a note taking guide. Uh, and here is the link to this week's, I'll put that down there in the comments. You can go and grab your very own copy of that. Uh, this is my goal. I want to put it out on Sunday afternoon, kind of set the theme of what we're going to talk about for the week. The note taking guide is there for you to just jot some notes and actions to take, uh, from listening to the show. If you like that idea, if it's useful to you, let me know. If it's not, let me know that too, and I'll quit doing it. Just trying to, uh, trying to make things a little bit better for you. Hey, Abby, good morning. All right. So this week we're, we're talking about simplifying and I was careful to qualify this just a minute ago. It's going, we're going to make it simple. It doesn't necessarily mean it's easy, but we are going to make it simple. So why is simple better? Well, let me work backwards. The way I usually explain this, I'm going to go backwards. Okay. Complexity, the enemy of the, or the opposite of simple is complex, right? Well, complexity is the enemy of execution, right? The more complicated something is, the harder it is to execute on. And since execution is the key to progress, you can't make progress if you're not executing. And progress is the key to happiness and fulfillment and success. You have to make progress. Remember, progress, movement toward a goal. So, therefore, complexity is the enemy of success. So we need to simplify in order to be able to make progress toward that goal. Now, the, especially in this area where we live, <laughs> but it's not exclusive to this area, right? People want to hold on to the complexity of what they're working on. Now, here's just an you know, honest moment question for you. If you feel like answering this in the comments, by all means, please do. Have you ever told anybody what you do? Well, you know, it's complicated. I mean, you ever claimed something being complicated for yourself, either the, the work that you do, a particular project that you're on. You, we get this idea that because it's complicated, that means it's difficult, and if I'm able to do something difficult, then I'm more valuable, right? I mean, that's I think that's the that's the line of reasoning that we get sometimes. So it's either that that's option A, or option B is um, probably what's more likely. Um, we're not willing. Hey, Tara, good morning. Option B is we're probably not willing to do the work to make it simple. Because simplifying what you're doing is hard work, right? Uh, now I'm going to mess it up, but there's a Steve Jobs quote about uh, simple being difficult. 
right? And, and it is because, and here's why. I mean, this is not, <clears throat> it's not really rocket science. Simple is hard because it requires us to make decisions and to say no. That's it. Simple is difficult because it requires us to make decisions and say no. We have to say no to things and, and, and we feel bad about saying no. We don't want to say no. We want to keep our options open. But the reality is that those people who are able to clearly define the result that they're willing, that, that they want to create and focus. We talked all last week about focus. They're able to focus on the activities that create that result. They are the ones that get the outcome that they're looking for. I mean, think about it. If you're cooking, well, I mean, we can do this in a hundred different ways, right? If you're cooking, is it easier to cook one thing and do it very, very well or cook 88 things? Are you going to do 88 things very, very well? Are you even going to do 88 things mediocre? No, but if you can focus on one thing, this is painting a room. If I had a friend of mine who would paint his house and his pattern for painting the house was one room every day. He had, I don't know, seven or eight rooms in the house. It took him a week to paint the house. But he didn't get stressed out about it, came to work, did his work, went home. By the time he got home, you know, everything was already pulled to the center of the room. He got the stuff out, painted, cleaned it all up, put it away, sat down, had dinner. He focused on that one thing, right, as opposed to trying to paint all eight rooms or even half the rooms in one night becomes more complicated, right, to collect everything in. It becomes more complicated to try and get it all done in the time allotted. But no, he's able to focus on one thing. All right. So complication or complexity, rather, is the enemy of execution. Execution is the key to progress. Progress is the key to result. So we have to find ways to simplify. Now, that's what we're going to be talking about this week. If that is something that is interesting to you, by all means, be sure to stay tuned in. Be sure you are following uh, this page in on uh, Facebook. And if you know someone else who is struggling with complexity. Now, think about this. Here's your homework. Take this. Well, yeah. no, I don't want to give you two pieces of homework. <clears throat> if they're struggling with complexity, if it looks from the outside in, it looks like they're very busy. Maybe they're overwhelmed. Maybe they don't get to take breaks. Weekends, it's a long weekend this weekend. It's fall break this week. Maybe they're not getting to do that because there's just too much going on. Or maybe when you ask them how they're doing, they say, well, I'm really busy. Okay. If you know somebody like that, send them a link to this video so that they can join us for the rest of the week and find out how to simplify their path to success. Now, here's your homework that I want you to take away today. What is something that you are holding on to because it's complicated? Now, and I'm going to get to, this was the point I wanted to make. Anything is possible when you break it down into enough pieces. We're, we're going to get to that this week, right? There is a very clear path on how to simplify without giving up on the complexity, right? I want to use the example of, of Apollo and how we got to the moon and then maybe even get to return to flight uh, after the, the Challenger accident. But both of those are super complicated, complex systems that ultimately came down to, in one case, jiggling the wires, right? So stick with me this week. We're going to work on how to uh, get rid of that complexity, simplify things. So that's your homework. What are you holding on that's com holding on to that's complex? Bring that back and remember, download the uh, note taking guide so you can tie all these things together. The link is in the comments. You guys have a magnificent Monday. If you're not working today, do something to recharge. Maybe it's sit around and read a book. Maybe it's go to the lake, whatever it is for you. Be sure to do that. If you are working today, make sure that it is uh, productive, that you are, um, uh, <laughs> that you create the result. I couldn't think of the word I was trying to get to there. 
that you, uh, that you create the result that you're looking for. I'll be back again tomorrow with another brand new installment of seven minutes in the morning. You guys have a great day. I'll talk to you then.